Hi, my friends. I'm so excited to be with you today. Do you know what we get to do first? We get to sing with Miss Cindy. So stand up, 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 and let's wait for her, okay? Hello, everybody. It's so great to see you again today. Are you ready to praise the Lord with me? Here we go. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Bible is for me. Don't forget to point to yourself and help me sing. The Bible is for me. Yes, the Bible is for me. I stand alone on the Word of God. The Bible is for me. The Bible is for me. The Bible is for me. I stand alone on the Word the Bible. His words are in the Bible, aren't they? Yes, and we're learning about serving others today. Can you serve others? Yes, you can. We can serve others. Yes, we can serve others. I'm so happy, very happy. We can serve others. We can serve others. Yes, we can serve others. I'm so happy, very happy. We can serve others. Now it's time to stop. Well, let's find those clapping hands. Can you clap and keep the beat? Clap your hands and sing. Clap your hands and sing. I'm so happy, very happy. We can serve others. Clap your hands and sing. Clap your hands and sing. I'm so happy, very happy. We can serve others. Now it's time to stop. Uh-oh. I tricked you. Now where's your knees? Pat your knees. Can you help me keep the beat? Pat your knees and sing. Pat your knees and sing. I'm so happy, very happy we can serve others. Pat your knees and sing. Pat your knees and sing. I'm so happy, very happy we can serve others. Now it's time to stop. Uh-oh, that was tricky. Now where's your shaking hands? This is your favorite part. I know. Shake your hands really fast. There you go. Shake them really fast. Shake your hands and sing. Shake your hands and sing. I'm so happy, very happy we can serve others. Uh-oh. I tricked you. Shake your hands and sing. Shake your hands and sing. I'm so happy, very happy we can serve others. Uh-oh. I'm a shake. I'm a shake. I'm a shake. It's up. <laughs> I like to trick you. I'm a shake. <laughs> oh, good stopping. I'm a shake. Oop, I caught you. I'm a shake and stop. Uh-oh. <laughs> now can you stand up, 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 up? And can you jump, jump, jump? Jump up and down and sing. Jump up and down and sing. I'm so happy, very happy we can serve others. Jump up and down and sing. Jump up and down and sing. I'm so happy, very happy we can serve others. Now it's time to stop. <gasps> Tricked you. Can you twirl around? Don't get too dizzy. Twirl around and sing. Twirl around and sing. I'm so happy, very happy we can serve others. 
this. Oh, oh, Miss Cindy got dizzy. Did you get dizzy too? Oh, whoa. Now sway side to side and sing. Yes, can you sway side to side and sing? Oh, I'm so happy, very happy we can serve others. And now it's time to stop. Whoa, nice stopping. Now let's find our big high marching knees. March your knees and sing. March your knees and sing. I'm so happy, very happy we can serve others. March your knees and sing. March your knees and sing. I'm so happy, very happy we can serve others. And now it's time to stop. Great job, everyone. Now let's all sit down, 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 down. Yeah, great job. Well, hey, you can serve others, can't you? You can be a helper. That's just like being a servant. You can help others. Like mom and dad, can you help them? You can? That's great. How about grandma and grandpa? Can you be helpers to them too? Yes. And how about your brothers and sisters? Yes. You can be helpers and serve others too, can't you? I love serving others, don't you? It makes me feel so happy inside because that's what God's Word says. Can you open your Bibles? Open your Bibles. Because in the Bible it says, 1 Peter 4.10, serve others. 1 Peter 4.10, serve others, serve others. The Bible says, the Bible says to serve others, serve others. 1 Peter 10, whoops, 1 Peter 4, verse 10. The city got a little confused. Let's try it again. Serve others, serve others. The Bible says, the Bible says to serve others, serve others. First Peter 4, verse 10. Wow, isn't it great learning God's words? Yes, because he loves you so much and you love him too, don't you? Well, we can serve others by doing lots of different things. And you'll be hearing your Bible story today about someone who helped, someone who needed something. Yeah, about the Good Samaritan. I bet you know that story, but maybe you haven't heard it before. So listen carefully to your Bible story today and see how someone helped someone else. You can be that way too. You can help too. Well, I brought a special friend today. He wants to come out and play. Are you ready to meet my friend? You met him last week, didn't you? Do you remember who it was? You're right. It's Blessing Bear. Blessing Bear came last week. Well, Blessing Bear has something special today. Are you ready to see what it could be? Oh boy, Blessing Bear, what do you have? A flag? Why do you have a flag? Oh, that's right. Independence Day is this weekend. You're right. Some of you might be doing something special for that special day. And we want to sing a special song about God blessing America because God loves all of us, doesn't he? He doesn't matter where you live, what you wear, or what you look like. God loves everyone with all of our hearts, with all of our mind, with all of our strength. We give our life to God and we can serve others by doing that. Wow, Bear, I love the way you're waving your flag. Wow, that's pretty, pretty cool. Well, hey, why don't we sing a song about that? Since it's, it's Independence Day weekend, let's sing a special song. Are you ready to sing it with Miss Cindy? Well, you know what you need? You need to have your marching knees. Are you ready? Okay, let's get our marching knees. Let's all stand up, 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 up. And we're going to sing 
a special song. It's called God Bless America. Are you ready to help me sing? Get those marching knees. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet home. Yeah, nice marching knees. And we need to serve all of our friends all over the world. And God bless all of us today as we celebrate Independence Day. Well, this was so much fun and I'm so glad that you joined me today. I hope you have a fun, safe weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye bye, worship friends. Bye bye, worship friends. Bye bye, worship friends. I'll see you all next week. Bye, everyone. Welcome back from singing. Isn't Miss Cindy just the greatest? Well, today I get to tell you a story from this book. Do you know what it is? The Bible. You're so right. And I get to teach you from the second half. What's that called again? the New Testament. We are going to be in the book of Luke in chapter 10. Do you see the big one zero right there? That's where our story comes from today. But before I dive in deep into our story, I have a question for you. Have you ever been to the doctor before? Hmm, what do you do at the doctor? Do they measure how tall you are? You guys, it's been forever since I've seen you and you guys are gonna grow so much the next time I see you. I can't wait. Okay, back to the doctor. Do they ever check your heartbeat? Hmm. Do they use a stethoscope so that way they can hear it? Do they sometimes put it on your back? Hmm. Do sometimes, do they make you stick out your tongue and look at it? Hmm. Well, today in our story, we are going to hear about a man who goes to the hospital and goes and see a doctor. Alrighty, so can you put on your listening ears? Can you put your eyes on me? Alrighty, and can you button and maybe zip your lips if you think you need them both? Alrighty, and let's listen to our story. So today, there was a man who got into an accident. So he was walking all by himself from one town to the next. And in the middle of it, there were some mean men and they came and they hurt him. They hurt him really badly. And then they took everything that they had, that he had. He took his clothes, he took money, everything. And the man was just laying there and he was hurt and he couldn't move. He couldn't walk, he couldn't run. And there wasn't any cell phones. So he, he couldn't call somebody and say that he needed help. He was just there all by himself. Hmm. And then there was somebody who walked past. They were walking, walking. But do you think that a priest, this man was a priest. Do you know what a priest is? He is somebody who teaches others about who God is. And so do you think the priest, do you think he stopped to help him? Or do you think he just kept on walking? Put your thumbs up. Hmm. He just kept on walking. Actually, he went to the other side and he didn't even look at him as he walked by and then there was another man he was called a levite a levite was somebody who helped in the church and he was walking okay do you think he helped or do you think he just kept on walking hmm he just kept on walking he did the same thing as the priest he went to the other side of the road and kept on walking not even wanting to look at him but then there was a third man. This man was a Samaritan. He's called a Samaritan because he lived in a town called Samaria. And so as he was walking, Samaritans were usually not kind to the man who was hurt. They're actually enemies. And so do you think he stopped and helped or do you think he didn't? He 
stopped and he helped. But not only did he help, he put band-aids all over the man's wounds and he put them on his animal. And then he took the man with his animal to town and he allowed a doctor to come see him and he even gave him money. So that way the doctor could take care uh, and take care of any medical expenses or it, since he needed new clothes, got him new clothes. This man called a Samaritan took care of everything for him. Wasn't that very kind of him? Hmm. Do you know that the Good Samaritan helped this man? Some might even say served him. Did you know that we can be just like the Good Samaritan? Hmm. What are some ways that you think that we can do that? What about loving others? Do you think we can love others? What about helping others? Using our helping hands to help one another? What about at church? Are there ways that we can help at church? Hmm. Right now, it might not seem like there is, but next week we have a thing called Serve Week. That's what my shirt says. And at Serve Week, we have things just for you to come and do to help. So we have things like making cards for our global partners. Uh, so we will have finger paints there. We can have markers or watercolors. And you can come and you can make uh, cards for our global partners so that way we can send them to them and then they can give them to anybody who needs it. We have opportunities like help filling backpacks. If you want to come with your family and help fill our backpacks with school items, you can come and do that. We also have uh, to help with our Path of Life care packages. You can do that as well. And then if all week you say, my parents are too busy, I can't come, we have an opportunity on Saturday to come and help pack meals. So these are all different ways that we can help and serve from loving others by helping others in our family to even helping our church. All right, my friends, did you keep your listening ears on? Because I have three questions for you. My first one is, how did the man get hurt? Do you remember? Weren't there mean men that came when he was far away from the city who hurt him and took his clothes? Yeah, the mean men hurt him. Who helped the man? He was from a place called Samaria, a good Samaritan. What did he do to help him? Remember, he put band-aids on all of his wounds. He took him to an inn and he paid for everything that he needed. That's how he helped. My last question is, what can you do to serve others? Remember? We can love others. We can help others. And we can help the church. And so if your mommy and daddy have any questions, they can just go onto our website and look for Serve Week, okay? Alrighty, my friends, great job answering those questions. And don't forget that you can tell others about our story by doing a coloring page, or we even have our craft. So we have the little house or the inn that he went to, and then there the, man, the Good Samaritan helping the man on his donkey. And so if you don't have a popsicle stick, that's totally okay. You can maybe use a fork or a straw, anything. And you can just help him go all the way to the inn. Alrighty, my friends, that's been tons of fun, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.